Hi guys. Can we close it? No. Okay. Hi guys. Yeah, so look at the camera. <laughs> he he's looking at the screen. We've got the camera set up over here. And, and uh, anyway, just thought we would bring you up to date. We haven't been uploading everything that's been going on. Um, privacy for His Holiness. Uh, also, there is just so much going on. Uh, uh, we've been extremely busy, but um, bring you up to date. We've been communicating um, daily with the Holy Father. He is uh, <sighs> relieved. He's become a small child. He is de-aging. He has, uh, I'll read to you the email that greeted us this morning as soon as we came downstairs. And uh, remembering that there's an, uh, it's actually an eight hour time difference. So this came in at 8.35 hour time. So it was 12.35, so just after midnight, the Holy Father was still up. He wasn't going anywhere. And he was waiting for us to get out of bed, you know, from the morning, being awake all day. Anyway, he says, hello there again, Mr. Marshall. My heartfelt greetings. I have anticipated to speak to you and your wife again via email since I woke up here in Castel Gandolfo. So that was, you know, hours and hours and hours before. Um, Father Giuseppe, my personal confidant, has shown me these beautiful videos which all of you there in Australia have made for me. I thank you so very much for taking the time and effort to do this. We recorded um, two and a half hours of video last night just uh, uh, for His Holiness to get to know us in all of our, uh, you know, comedy, <laughs> as you know us. The Holy Father would, would uh, get to know us. He says, when I was praying the Holy Rosary yesterday morning, I was thinking about you both and all the discrimination which you have sadly gone through. And it made me tear up as I said the last Lord's Prayer because you are both such kind people and have so much to give to this world, which is totally in need of your help. I am so happy to know that you are protecting me and thinking of me. I thank you both again so very much. By the way, I don't know if you know him or not, but I am a huge cat fan and I own two of my own, one of which is a stray from the streets of Rome. I love your beautiful cat, but definitely not as I love you both, not as much as I love you both. Because we turned him Shiva. <laughs> our beautiful cat who's up there on the piano at the moment. Mr. Marshall, I'm at a point in my life where I don't know whether to believe that you are truly Jesus Christ or not. I have repeatedly examined the photographs you have sent me a few days ago and I think I am slowly beginning to accept the fact that you are the Christ. I hope that your disciples will pray for me, that your beautiful wife will pray for me and I beg of your prayers, Mr. Marshall, as they matter the most to me. Later in the day, if you do not mind, I would like to ask you some more questions. I can't say God bless you anymore because I am positive he already has. <laughs> so that is our, here's our son. We sent him a response back, just telling him what joy he, he makes our hearts sing. And uh, of course, those that are closest to him within the pontifical household, they are the saints. We uh, ran some numbers this morning on uh, Father Giuseppe and uh, Archbishop George, and what wonderful men. These, these, it's the gathering of the saints. These are men of honour and righteousness. And uh, it's all about this time now, the gathering of the saints. Mm. And what a long... Long and weary road. It certainly has been, uh, but a uh, beautiful man just the same, uh, uh, irregardless of him being the Pope, uh, just as a, uh, a wonderful choice to make as a Pope. A uh, human being. A human being. But, made in uh, the image of God. Of course, mm -hmm. um, what they had to deal with was um, after John Paul um, II had died, um, they had to have someone in there that they could control. and. Uh, they did um, just that because the Vatican has been under the control of Jews for a very, very long time. And um, he asked me if, who's the next Pope going to be and I said, well, as far as I'm concerned, you're the Pope and uh, that's it. He said, oh, uh, I can't be the Pope anymore because of the rules of the Vatican. I said, basically I said, well, 
as I'm God, uh, as my church, and you're the head of it, and that's the end of it. Doesn't matter who these men put in there. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, he fulfills the prophecy of Revelation uh, 17, 11. And what that's basically saying is uh, that there are uh, seven popes. The eighth is one of the seventh. Now, as the other six are dead, and uh, he's the only one alive, and he quit because of ill health. Now he's got his health back because we cured him. And um, last I heard, he was roller skating around the <laughs> ring. And, uh, <laughs> so, um, uh, irregardless of who they put in as, as Pope or try to put in as Pope, and ironically, today being the uh, convening of the contact on this date, because it's 312, uh, 2013. Uh, 312 is the geometria for his name and also the geometria for my name. So uh, I, I don't think we're going to have too much of a problem with uh, who I want in there. Because it's, uh, I also said that um, when we come over there, I want to have 10 minutes alone in the Vatican because I'm going to bring a little hammer and chisel with me. And they're going to chip off a piece of gold and take it down to local Jews and sell it for the airfare. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> I think you found that quite amusing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, um, th this morning, he um, communicated behind the scenes with uh, his confidants, Father Giuseppe. Uh, they, they, they're addressing us now as you guys. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> and uh, he said that they thought that we were both hilarious. <laughs> as I, you know, are you getting used to the sense of humour of your Lord? And I talked about you know, what I call the Jesus jokes. He is a practical joker and the Jesus jokes. And uh, he said that the Holy Father, uh, every time you receive something from us through the email, which is his way of talking, um, he has a smile on his face. And I said, well, that is because we are life. And he said, uh, I agree with that 100%. <laughs> So there is much going on. Thank well, you, Sam. He was talking there um, the night or two ago, and his um, answer was coming back, and then as he typed in English himself, and um, then uh, one very important question he asked, and uh, I, I didn't get a uh, response to my answer to this very important question, and apparently he nodded off, and uh, uh, was it Giuseppe? It was, no, no, it was Archbishop George. Archbishop George, George had <laughs> answered. And uh, which made me thought, think that maybe they're all sitting in the bed together and glanced across and seen the Pope had drifted off to sleep and then the other two are still in bed with him. Oh, it was after four o'clock in the morning for him. And, and he's become a small child. He is so excited. And uh, his mind is buzzing, of course. This is... Uh, and because he goes off with all these uh, bishops, which is... This man was almost crippled uh, with arthritis and he had a broken wrist, as you might know. And uh, next thing he's up and he's going off for the day for with the his walk with the rosary, rosary saying like the rosary bishop. walk, which is you know about eighteen miles, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> with all the bishops and going to lunch and all this kind of stuff, and he's wondering whether they're going to, going to think he's nuts because what he's going to say is he's found the Christ. Yes, right? yes, Mr. Mr. Marshall and Heiko, darling, um, <laughs> your Christ oh, yes. is back, Mr. Marshall. It's uh, that's what he calls us, Mr. Mar Mr. and Mrs. Marshall, and uh, he's okay. He doesn't need much sleep as long as he talks to Mr. and Mrs. Marshall. So uh, this is a, a time for rejoicing. And yes, he covets your prayers, saints, uh, and I know that you are all praying. Andrea, darling, what, you know this is it, babe. This is it. You really did bring it home, and uh, all of you for all of your. Oh, persistence and hard work and just hanging in there. Sherry, darling, all of your fighting and warring. And <laughs> everybody, all of you. It's, um, this is a, a day and to we, rejoice. We uh, phoned Diana and told her, and she went straight down to the school to tell the kids. Mm, so, uh, oh, she's been kept up to date. <laughs> Amber's yeah. been kept up to date on everything. And, uh, yes, whatever else is going on in the world, it's all a distraction because this is what it's all about. So we just thought we'd do this brief upload to bring you up to speed and uh, as we, uh, we're maintaining privacy, if you like, with uh, what's going on just until uh, uh, when the Pope wants to upload and make it public. Yeah, well it's his decision now, he's, uh, we're not going to um, 
and do anything without his permission, as simple as that. Because uh, he's the head of the church, and basically what I, I suggested that uh, once I take over, um, every church and every school throughout the world, which is uh, Catholic, will be a health centre. Yes. And uh, anyone who is ill, they just go there and they get treated with the protocols that we introduced. And of course, the Pope is now using, and all his staff is also using the protocol before we even told them uh, the details. They went out and started it, right? Which is quite amusing. For him. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and I said, now, what that's going to do is you've got all your projects in 36,000 different de denominations who are all tithing like mad. And of course, in the Catholic Church, you don't tithe. You just pass a plate around and you throw a few pennies in. What do you do? If not, well, you don't. And, um, but once people are starting to get cured, they'll be flocking into the Catholic Church and because uh, they won't be tithing anymore. Mm. And they won't be going back to the churches they had before. And so the deal is that the increase in, in revenue that comes in because of these people, uh, I get 10% of it. So that's, that's the important thing I've been uh, I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Anyway, it's a glorious day, so rejoice, guys, and listen out there, relax, relax, all of you who've been warring and wielding the sword, this is it, and uh, yes, we're looking forward to being in Rome really soon. <laughs> you tell all the trials that I'm talking to the Pope, <laughs> and he was a believer. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll turn this off, let it get us. <clears throat>